if you look at the uh, global retail markets, uh, I think uh, what is uh, very interesting here, if you look at shopping centers, uh, there is a very, very strong consolidation of the market. This is predominantly driven by by some of the REITs uh, active in uh, uh, in Europe, which a clear strategic focus on um, dominant shopping centers. And this, uh, soon as they uh, as they have got hold of it, they will never sell. So. Uh, that is uh, indeed a question uh, on liquidity of the market. Uh, the strategic focus on the on the larger shopping centers, so above 40, 40,000, 45,000 square meter GLA, um, has a reason. Um, uh, it's a reason we share, by the way, which is uh, like, where will retail uh, happen in the future? We believe in um, in retail and shopping centers, which provide more than. Uh, um, then more customer experience um, is adding um, an experience um, in terms of restaurants, but also in, uh, in, in terms of leisure facilities. So um, you need to provide a very deep offer um, in the for retailers, but also for customers. So uh, that's one um, mainstream, um, and I think like I'm sharing the view of many other um, uh, specialized retail investors um, that um, like if you see the key trends uh, impacting the retail economy which is uh, e-commerce uh, but also demography um, I think the best um, bet is uh, the, the clear dominant uh, shopping center in addition to that uh, our retail investment strategy adds um, convenience uh, shoppings, uh, shopping that is more retail parks and uh, urban retail. So where we believe uh, that due to its inner city locations, you benefit from the critical mass or mass of a city uh, in order to attract further customers. So um, I would say those three types uh, we're investing for, and um, that's uh, our vision. Um, what is what is intelligent. Uh, especially with regard to uh, to the main trends impacting the industry. And, and in terms of, obviously there's a, it's difficult to find that product and some of this, this core product is then being bought up and on a long hold strategy, so it's not gonna come back to the market. Does that mean that um, there are opportunities to develop new product or is that more difficult in, in Europe um, just in terms of planning, or are we over are we over shopping centred? How, how are we in comparison to the rest of the world? Let's take Germany as an example. Um, uh, Germany had a, a lot of developments, uh, I would say, until 2010 uh, or 11. So if you look at the market now, you hardly find any new developments uh, of a shopping centre. There might be one or two examples. Um, for um, for larger um, property sites, so um, the um, development activity um, has very much slowed down. Um, an opportunity uh, is to uh, is more on the refurbishment side, so to uh, actively buy into older uh, shopping centers, but very well located, and refurbish or extend them. But pure. Um, new developments are very, very limited uh, in these days.